Hello everyone, my name is Andrine Aurelia Anggida Manik. I'm from Universitas Methodist Indonesia, Faculty of Letters. Today, I want to talk about morphine. What is morphine? A morphine is the smallest meaningful lexical item in the language. A morphine is not necessarily the same as a word. The main difference between a morphine and a word is that a morphine sometimes doesn't stand alone, but a word, by definition, always stands alone. The field of linguistic study dedicated to morphine is called morphology. In English, when a morphine can stand alone, it is considered a root because it has a meaning of its own or such as the morphine cat when it depends on another morphine to express an idea. It is an affix because it has a grammatical function such as the S in cats to indicate plurality. However, this definition is not universal and it doesn't apply to Latin where many roots cannot stand alone. For instance, the Latin root Greek or king must always be suffixed with the case marker. Greg is, Greg I, and each other. In a language like Latin, a root can be definite as the main lexical morpheme of a word. Unbreakable is a composite of three morphemes. Un, a bound morpheme signifying not. Break, the root, a free morpheme. And able. A free morpheme signifying can be done. A low morph of the plural of morphemes for regular nouns as e.g. in cats, e.g. in dishes, and e.g. in dogs. Every morpheme can be classified as either free or bone, since the categories are mutually exclusive, a given morpheme will be belong to exactly one of them. Okay, so that is my explanations about morpheme, and I hope you guys who watch this video will understand what I'm saying, and see you!